two great rivals clash in the quarterfinals of the London Senior Cup this evening as Dulwich Hamlet take on Tooting and Mitcham United. Dulwich left it late to salvage a point against Leatherhead here two nights ago, but Ibrahim Cargbo's 86th minute leveller was enough to move them back into the playoff spots. They brought in ten new faces from Tuesday, with Preston Edwards the only player to keep his jersey and Gavin Tomlin captain in the side. Like Dulwich, the Terrors have their eyes on a greater prize this season as they sit three points clear of Dorking Wanderers at the top of the Ryman South table. However, they are holders of the trophy and have the joint most wins in the competition history with seven titles. They make seven alterations from their win on Saturday, including a start for ex-Hamlet man Sandy Cunningham. Last season, the visitors demolished Dulwich 3-0 in the semis. Can the hosts regain the local bragging rights and set up a trip to Cray Valley Paper Mills in the last four? Taylor's going to have to come across and close him down. Early ball in. Hamid pokes away from Cunningham, is ready to pounce at the edge of the area. Well, the bit between his teeth tonight, much like Cadell Daniel did for Leatherhead here on Tuesday. Both players here at Dulwich at the start of the season, but discarded for one reason or another. Gavin Tomlin dropping deeper tonight into the central midfield role and receives the captain's armband. Kamara. That's a lovely ball. Here's Karoma. Load of space to work with. Goes to the early shot and it's easy for Matty Pearson. Dulwich with all sorts of space on that left-hand side. Dulwich happy to pass it around the back for the time being. It's Harley Wise. Only Dulwich appearance to date came in that League Cup defeat at Tunbridge a few weeks ago. Maskell now. Back with Wise, the former... QPR trainee, Panucci Kamara, away from one, away from two. Something that's improved in his game the last few weeks, knows when to release the ball now, Kamara. Mask on the far side, Mohamed, Karoma, good footballers from Dulwich, Mohamed is a heavy touch, will get it back though. Karoma again, lines up the shot, took a deflection and in! Wrong foot of the keeper completely. And inside seven minutes, Dulwich have a lead. Long range shot from Karoma, took a, a wicked deflection off a defender, which wrong footed Matty Pearson. Little he could have done about that. And Karoma scores his first goal since rejoining the club. Dulwich with some patient build up play. They were lucky to win the ball back. Mohamed poked it on for Karoma. Took flight from 25 yards or so. And a wrong foot to the goalkeeper. And Wedgworth will deliver. He's got a very good left foot on him. That's a good looking ball in. Free header off the line. Good defending. I think it's Jamie Maskell who got the touch. Come back wide for Wedgworth. Nice pass that from Bennett. Towards the near post it goes and Edwards holds on. Wedgworth trying to catch Edwards at his near post. Kamara to Sanchez Mink. Kamara's turn to go infield. Akinyemi, Mohamed. Lovely turn by Kamara. Can he get the shot? Good save by the leg of Pearson. Lovely turn by Panucci Kamara. Scored a goal like that against Merstam here a few weeks ago with a drag back. Dulwich carving open the visitors. Matty Pearson responds with a save. Tom Lim. Taylor. Patient play this. Taylor goes long this time. Erskine off the chest. It goes from him. Mohamed, gets a bit lucky, drops for Akinyemi, he's lined up the shot, he was travelling, wrong side of the far post from Dippo Akinyemi, Pearson watched it all the way through, I think he had it uh, covered the goalkeeper. Referee I think is ready as well, blows his whistle, upsets Peter Wedgworth, gets over the wall, and past the far post, Edwards rooted to the spot, not too far wide. From the left back, Maskell forward to take, Kamara, able to turn, can he find Ming who's made a good run this near side, yes he can, Ming's got bodies in the box waiting for the cross, floats it in, had it goalwards, it's two, it's Jacob Erskine, delightful cross by Sanchez, Ming inviting for any striker and Erskine gobbles up the chance, fourth goal since rejoining the club and Dulwich have a commanding 2-0 lead. After 23 and a half minutes, credit the work by Panucci Kamara in the build-up. Managed to keep hold of the ball and played it wide to Mink. Made a good run forward from right back. And his cross, inch perfect for the run of Erskine. To nod home past Pearson and give Dulwich a 2-0 lead. Four years the area waiting for him. It's too deep this time. And come for Karoma. Dulwich launch a counter-attack. Inside it goes to Akinyemi, he's got two ahead of him. 
One being Panucci Kamara in acres of space here. From one into another, Akinyemi's in there, pokes it wide. Almost a classic ending to a counter-attack. Akinyemi can only stab it wide of the near post. Harley Wise again. All over the top, searching for Akinyemi. It's nodded away by the captain, Quincy Rowe. Mohamed can't link up with Ming. McLaren turns into trouble, specifically Akinyemi. Karoma lines up another shot, and that's wide as well. Again, power in the strike from Omar Karoma, but off target. Dulles are finding chances now. Ming's an acre of space in this near side and just plays out to him, Harley Wise. Easy done. Ming down the line. Akinyemi. Ming's continued his run. Goes back inside to Mohamed instead. Tom Lin. Referee does well to get out of the way. Maskell joins the attack now. Dulles fluid with their attacking movement so far. And it comes to Erskine. Can he lay it off? Kamara's there. Stabs it wide. I think it's a corner. It is. Tomlin again on corner duties. The in-swinger this time coming up from the standing captain. Pretty deep. Up in the air by Rowe. Knocked down for Kamara. Shifts it back wide to Tomlin. No one's come out to close him down for the time being. Nice skill from Tomlin. Gets in the second ball. Karuma got the touch. Wise keeps it alive. It's dropped by Mohamed. Spilled by Pearson. Not quite at the feet of Akinyemi. Maskell to Mohamed. Panucci, Kamara now. Maskell continuing to join the attack. Trying to burst past McLaren. Here's a quick player, Maskell. Floats in the cross. And arriving was Karoma. Volley's over. Met it well. Clements attempts in the layoff. It's only come to Mohamed. Mohamed. Ming forward. Sony. Well, this time by Kamara. That's what Dunnage did well in the first half. Got to loose balls so uh, efficiently and effectively as well. Erskine on the volley, ambitious to say the least. Bennett's under pressure here from Kamara. Does well. Finds Cunningham down the line. Look lively in that first half, Sandy Cunningham. Mazzoni's giving chase here. Taylor will get there first. Mazzoni's got to be careful, having been booked in that first half. Doesn't put the challenge in on Taylor as a result. Maskell can turn. Darts down the line. It's Kamara now. Mas Maskell continues his run. Kamara darts on the inside for the time being. Creates some space for himself. On he goes, Kamara. Straight at Matty Pearson. The shot goes. Goal is swarming forward quickly there. Kroma bouncing ball. Those who played together in pre-season before Kroma went off to Wildstone. Got injured, and that's why he uh, fell out of favour at Wildstone, Kroma. Side went on a win run. Whoever's given that away. Mazzoni's got a tap in and it's 2-1 and Tusig and Mitchum have a goal out of nowhere. Edwards looks down at the ground inquisitively. And out of nothing, Tusig and Mitchum have got a goal at the start of the second half. Almost stunned silence around the ground. Ball went back to Edwards as he went to clear, just stumbled and ball rolled into the path of Mazzoni. And we've got a game on our hands again now. Kamara trying to poke that on, only finds Cunningham. Clements takes over. They've got a spring in their step now, Mazzoni. Over the top it goes. There's three up in this attack, Clements. It's four or five now. Bennett tries to place it into the far corner, and Edwards watches it wide. And all of a sudden, there's vigour in their play again. Tooting and Mitchum. Tomlin to Erskine. Good hold up play by Erskine. And that is a foul in the end by Zamara. Taking quickly, Maskell, Kamara running at Wilson. A couple of step overs on the inside he goes. Tries to bit the keeper, isn't near post. Fine save, Matty Pearson. Fulling in himself to his right-hand side, down low. And diverts behind for the corner. Kamara almost catching him out, but as I say, fine goalkeeping. Wedgeworth stands over this in-swinging corner. Towards the near post, it's a low ball in. Had it over from close range. It's a real chance in there. Sandy Cunningham had to sit deep tonight, Tomlin. Hasn't been able to get forward as often as he would in the usual game. Wise. That's a Ming. Mohamed. Akinyemi sends that in towards Erskine, just beyond him. Struck on the volley. I think it might have hit the post. It's come out. Kamara. Karoma's there. Into the side, Nettingham wide. And Dulwich can't get that third goal there. Steps the ball forward. Clements. Robinson's continued his run. Wise is there first. Goes back to Edwards. Booming clearance by the goalkeeper. 
Kamara over the top. Here's Omar Karoma. Takes it down in front of him and is bearing down on goal now. Karoma into the area. Across the goal it goes. And wide of the far post on his left foot. Karoma trying to guide it into that far corner. Towards Karoma is going to play down the middle of the three now. Bar to his left and Clunis to his right it seems. He's picked up the ball again. Karoma on the right hand side. Fizz in the cross. It's cut through to Bar. Somehow couldn't apply the finishing touch, just guided back across goal. Suleiman Bart had an open goal to aim at. There's Ming. Bar again. Kamara, that's a nice drop of the shoulder from him. He pulls it back, all the way through it goes. Here's Karoma. Good defending. They're queuing up the Dulwich players. Karoma's in possession again. Taking on Zamara, sends in the latest cross. Pearson pushes away. Dulwich has the corner. Bennett. It's not a great ball either. Karoma, impressed with him tonight. Clunis, back to Omar Karoma. Got a bar to his left, and he's played him in. Suleiman Bar, up against Ashley Robinson. Drop of the shoulder, a bit of a divot. Stopping him from the shot initially, and he does go for goal eventually, and again, it's off target. Karoma behind shot. Kamara, it goes. Cunningham, Clements, tried to be a bit too fancy. Kamara bursting forward, he can't feed. But Lauren Dixon will tussle with Wise here. This is back to goal. Dixon's got space. No power in the final shot, though. Such a dangerous predator in the penalty area. Taylor's enough. Weatherstone. Kamara. Clunis is there. A final swan song for Dulwich. Kamara trying to link back up with Clunis. He's in one on one now, Naren Clunis. Brilliant. And that is Dulwich's place in the semi final. And it's Clunis off the bench as he was against Haven to Warsaw here a couple of weeks ago. With a 1 2 with Kamara, who's placed it beyond Pearson. And Dulwich, who've huffed and uh, puffed a little bit in the second half, and have booked a trip to Cray Valley Paper Mills in the semi final. So breaking forward was Clunis originally. Linked up with Kamara, Clunis carried on his run. And once in those sort of positions, he usually finds the target. And Dulwich have a 3-1 cushion now. 14th of the season for the wide man. Taking his merry time on the ball. Taylor, and there is Dulwich's place in the semi-final. Confirmed by the referee, brings it close to this uh, London Senior Cup quarter-final tie at Champion Hill. Dulwich have beaten local rivals Tutingham Mitchum United by three goals to one. It seemed a mere formality at half-time that Dulwich were going through to the last four when Omar Karoma and Jacob Erskine gave them a 2-0 lead at the break. But uh, Tutingham Mitchum were given a lucky goal at the start of the second half, a, a slip by Preston Edwards. Saw Jack Matz only roll the ball into an empty net and it took until the 92nd minute for Dulwich to make safe the game. Clunis playing a 1-2 with Panucci Kamara before slotting beyond Matty Pearson. They had the majority of the chance in the game, Dulwich. will feel they deserve their place in the last four. Final score then at Champion Hill is Dulwich Habit 3, Tooting and Mitchum United 1. Gav, nice win, but did you make it a little bit hard for yourself in that second half perhaps? Yeah, again. Not taking chances, there was a lot of chances uh, there for us to kill the game. And obviously a mistake from Preston <clears throat> gives them a little bit of hope. But I don't really think they had much hope, to, to be honest with you, on the night. Um, but yeah, I think we were always really in control of the game. And obviously as you, it's a 2-1 lead and they, they keep coming at us, so it can happen to anyone. But I thought we did well today. I think the um, second half, like we got sloppy, too fair, like um, could have finished the game as well, had a lot of chances. And you know, like what you know, they they were always we always knew second half was going to be a hard one. Obviously, neighbours and, and stuff like it was a local derby, so they they did make it a lot harder for our second half. Yeah, it was disappointing. Um, I thought the lads put in a, a really really good shift. Um, obviously, Dulwich boys they're in they're sharp. Um, they look good. Um, but I think we give ourselves a good account of ourselves really. So all in all, I'm I'm actually really proud of the boys. So. That's it, that's it, really. Stick after what happened against them last season in the semi-final, you made sure you stamped your authority in the game very early on. Sure, yeah, I think we, we made it clear to the, to the players in the dressing room what it means uh, to the club um, to perform and to work hard and have the commitment, especially in a local derby, and I thought they um, did really well, they did really well. Obviously, this starting eleven hasn't had many minutes together this season. It was ten changes from Tuesday night, but how do you think you guys settled into the game? I think, um, as you said, as you, you could see there, we started off well. 
But, you know, like, second half, we, you could see that there was, like, a few legs tired there, you know, and everything. So, so that was it, really. But I think, generally, like, we did manage it. We did manage the game well, to be fair, yeah. I thought they adapted well. Obviously, we've had these boys around us uh, a long time and they know what we do and how we like to work. And that's been an advantage to us. But to make 10 changes against a team, I think, in their league of 95 points, yeah, to be honest with you, they didn't play their full strength team, but I thought that was really good for us today. It was great to be back. It was great to see everyone. Um, it's great atmosphere here. You always get that. You get great crowd. Um, the pitch is lovely. Uh, and yeah, it was great to see everyone. So I'm, a part, uh, despite the result, I'm pretty happy with the whole, the, the experience of being back. So it was good. That's to get on the score sheet. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to claim that. Uh, Definitely yours. Yeah? All right, then. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, nice to get on the score sheet. Always good scoring, but the most important thing was the three points. So, yeah, on to the next game Saturday. So We've got four games to go. Every game's a cup final now, isn't it? you just got to try and get three points or three points keep dorking at bay. Yeah, well, hopefully they slip up soon. That's the kind of... That's what we're... I mean, we're not concentrating on them. It's down to us, really. So, as I say, game by game, just keep on going, keep on going. Hopefully they have a banana skin some some way along the line, or we just keep on winning and it's not a problem. So I know the league is obviously the priority this year and getting a playoff spot, but semi-finals to come, you want to do well in this competition as well. Yeah, you want to do well in every competition. Like, absolutely, like we're we're prepared. Obviously, like any any you know take a game at a time really, but the league's priority like to get that promotion. Yeah, I think the most important thing was that we made all these changes and we couldn't tell that the boys haven't been playing week in week out. I thought they're standard. Level performance was as, as good as the first team was. Um, but like you say, getting away with no one and getting injured is, is great. Um, maybe a few selection headaches um, on Saturday, but obviously with the, the time that we've got in terms of the turnaround, probably not because uh, of the recovery.